of the plant now but I can understand it might be a bit overwhelming to get a better understanding of the flow of wax and as I mentioned we'll show you a six minute video that will walk you through the whole process again so you can better understand the, uh, the, uh, the whole system and this is just a visual animation no audio so yeah
try to let check where it's going to see whether they're silver plate. You make sure that the weight is right. So that's the check we have. That is it. So it's making sure that the parts are um, between 49.50 and 51 points with a very narrow margin for error. 49.95 is always 50. But when it's when it's very low, the bar is rejected. So the system tells that man, this one doesn't mean the standard. So it gets it gets broken and it gets back, it gets shredded. Then it gets back into what we call the return screw elevator. Now we have uh, something on the meters plane. Any dust that is collected, any spillage that happens, any bag that is broken, gets back to the production. The waste is discharged and the power gets back to the production. Then the waste being the, uh, the paper bag. The paper bag. So that's the paper bag. And the cement gets back into the screw elevator. The screw elevator sends it back and production goes on again. So there is quite a very little tolerance for waste. With the plant of inventory. So that's, that's it basically. Thank you very much. Okay. So basically, um, after this overview, one thing I would like to highlight is the plant, as you see, is 100% functional. You push the button today, it starts running. So the plant in itself, as you see now, is 100% functional. If you put powder in today, you get a bag right away. Um, Are there any questions that anyone might have at this point? We actually, uh, good question. We actually have uh, recently received a permit from the government to import cement powder to test run the system. So everything is uh, it's, it's a process to bring the powder in to run it. You need a permit. We've gone through that permit, uh, that process, permitting process. The government has granted us that permit bring in uh, enough cement to test around the system before we go into full, full blown scale and production. Yeah. Yes, with the permit to bring in 1.2 million tons of, of powdered cement to test around the system. Any idea how you do that? Timeline wise, um, I am not 100% sure. Like I said, it's a process. The permit has recently been granted. I regularly to have to wait for it to come in. Uh, which have a, we have a different team that handles that with the financing and everything. They handle that section. So um, from the plant operation and the construction point of view, I wouldn't have an answer. You talked about 80%. Correct. Right. Well, like, like a, when we drove in, we were working on debt. So a bit of that 20% is getting the compound all moved up. A bit of it is the silo system that we have to um, put in place. Now the silo system, it's, uh, it's something that came in to save everyone from confinement. When the ship comes in with the powder, you have to siphon it out of the ship. Now where is all that going? The ship shows up, it's carrying 40,000 tons of cement. If you don't have storage, what's going to happen is you are going to siphon a little bit out to produce the ship will go back to open waters and anchor and wait for you. When it's waiting for you, you're paying. You're paying good money for that. So we looked at the whole system, like I said. Maybe fortunately for us, we had other players in the game. And I did mention at the beginning that a lot of thoughts went into this before we broke ground. So we learned a lot of mistakes from our top our competitors next door and just further down the road. I realized that a lot of money is being lost. So in our system, we have Incorporated these silos, like when the ship shows up, we siphon everything out of it, and the, the silos have the capacity to contain that so that we can send the ship away without having to do another new demoralized piece. We're bagging. Why? Why? Step at a time. Eventually, we'll get there. Yeah. Absolutely. The sky is on it. Well, you 
terms of job creation, um, a plant in this in this of this nature has a very wide ripple effect. You're looking at people working in a 24 hour plant. You have people working in 24 hours a day, multiple shifts. It's not just the workers. You have people who are going to work for the workers. I work with the multiple shifts. You have the truck drivers who are going to distribute. You have tons of retail shops. So in, in effect, the job employment that can come out of one single plant is in the thousands. 5,000, 10,000, it's huge across country. It doesn't just stay in Chama. What is unique? Okay, so one of the unique capacity about Jata Cement is that Jata Cement is the only cement plant that has a, we have the maximum capacity compared to all the other ones as a single plant. Our production here is around 2.6 million tons a year. Our, 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 our competitors are doing 1.2 and very small quantities. So in terms of, um, I mean, let me ask you a question. Do you go to a plant whereby you have to queue and wait for cement or you go to a plant whereby you know they have enough capacity to produce a lot of plants? Right? Uh, we have a little bit of an external talk to do with you as well, so my coordinator is just asking me to take a break, do the talk. You might have more questions after that, so yes, we'll get back to it again. I'll leave you Okay, guys, let's go down this way. Please. Yeah. 